Three stab. And morale of armies plus 20. Sure. That's nice to have against the French. We murder the French starting now. For too long, the French have been in the damn Iberian Peninsula. We declare the reconquest of... Uh, reconquest would be better, actually, even though we're going to take land down here. These are permanent claims, though. Yeah. Hmm. If I had to choose between Reconquest and Conquest, I would I would definitely do Reconquest. Delphin and Main are 26 and 11 development. This is Mountain Non-Fort. Should be easy to get control of and then hold on to. So, let's declare the war and let's march onto the provinces. Let's grab our best siege leaders. We've got Sildadia hanging out down here. You're no longer there. We've got you hanging out down here. You're no longer there. We've got... This guy doesn't need to be here. You are already here, so we're going to grab Mr. Soldadia here. Let's grab Mr. Sejon here of oh, this army. Send half to there and 25-25 to these. Let's make sure we have the best possible combat leader with two siege pips. It's going to be K. Dubiz. We can go to the board. And... Uh, not going to worry about the navy. I don't think that France really can compete with us directly. So, war enemies. We have 8.06 morale versus the French 6. Now, if we want to be even more abusive, we can uh, call for a holy war against one of these guys and get that war deck declared simply to stack crusade morale of armies against the French. So, let's uh, call for a crusade of Mr. Nadongo. Let's redirect this army down to Nadongo. Let's grab the transport fleet and have them stop off here. It's possible we'll lose some ships, don't really care, we'll just build more. And because, again, we're super far ahead of time in tech, and this is, um, you know, a justified war. Barrage. Your forts shall crumble! Stupid French! Okay, before we have any combat with France, let's make sure we get the war declared on Nadongo. Holy War! Beginning of next month, we should get the updated triggered modifier Holy War. Or rather, Crusade, giving us an extra 10% morale of armies. More Papal Influence, 30% National Manpower, 10% National Taxes. Don't forget about Savoy. Right, start integrating Savoy. Thank you. Annex is a vassal. Uh, we've got half a stack here, reinforcing this army. Let's send the... Never mind, the board already fell. I was going to say, because this is defensive terrain, we want to have a support stack to help relieve if there is a battle. But now that it's fallen, we'll just move forward. We don't need to worry about doing what I said. Instead, we're going to redirect this half stack around to over here to support that one. This half stack will go there. All right, that's defensive train. Let's go relieve that siege in our subject's fort. Mr. 5642 is going to go murder some dudes. We want to get started on the siege of Leonay. Let's uh, split, move forward. Let's have... Let's have he's already retreated. We'll just chase him, because he's got no leader now. Mass conversions happening. Caver good, caver not good, caver bad. We've got 14 lights currently in battle with four heavies. These 15 ships are doing what? Protecting trade in Sevilla? They shouldn't be here anyway. I don't care about this fight, let's just retreat and then tell them to go protect trade in Genoa again so they're part of the primary fleet and we can spread them out again when it's necessary. Got auxiliary like support stack back here. This stack could run with no artillery at all and just be pure infantry just to fill in the carpet sieges behind. But 
because we're Spain, I'm I'm skewing my artillery percentage a bit more than normal. Just because we're Spain, you know? I'm okay with going on this fort, even though it's defensive terrain, because I've got a, a secondary stack ready to reinforce if there is a battle. And we're going to go ahead and, again, continue to barrage the crap out of him because we're ahead of time in Miltech. And it just makes the war a massacre. This stack is capable of sieging more stuff, but I want to make sure it's close enough to reinforce. Wow, your armies have fancy hats? They do. Check out that little, like, feather on there. It's pretty awesome. Got miscellaneous rebels down here and stuff. Let's get this army consolidated. Let this army suppress in the region as well. We don't need a leader assigned down here, I think, but... We have one free. We'll temporarily put somebody in charge. They should really be on the French front line if we need them. What? What? Oh, has fallen. Back to Milan. Let's push forward onto Paris directly. Have these guys spread onto these. Grab another leader. Let's put uh, Don can be down here. Have him suppress the northern half of the country, including all the way up through this part, just so that I can hopefully stop paying attention to this region of the world. War in Africa. Thank you. You do have a spare leader. Let's have this army all just come together. I completely forgot about the Crusade War. Thank you. Mostly just focusing on the French. So we're going to be um, pushing for his capital. The AI will always respond to a siege of their capital. Always. So you need to make sure that if, if the French have a massive army, right, 50k troops or whatever, we're going to have primary stack on the siege, but then also secondary stacks that need to be in position to reinforce. This stack could be sieging more, but that's kind of a long route. Um, I'd rather it just be ready to reinforce this siege if it doesn't go well. Level 1 capital fort, don't really see much reason to barrage this, it'll fall pretty quickly anyway. Netherlands just broke their alliance with France. Lyonnais fell, transferred to Milan. Unsieged the occupations that France did in Provence. Looks like France is going for our holdings in Italy. We do have... I think we have a fort here, don't we? I don't have any fort here. Weird. We should have a fort down there. Should build one. The fact that we don't... That, that his army's in Italy means that we can actually carpet siege this region. Besides, he doesn't have a fort in his capital, so... I don't really feel bad for not having a fort. Something about Lollard heretics. Notice how I'm trying to move my army around in a, in a method that keeps them in... in groups, right? I've got four armies. It doesn't look like four right now, but in my mind, it's four. I have four armies. I've got army number one, working on Paris. Army number two is here. Army number three is currently split into two 50% strength units, and then army number four is being used as a carpet siege non-leader army. And it is spread over all of this crap. This is army number four. So when I go to recombine, I'm going to find those units, if they finish their sieges, and then group to the center point. So that this army is now reassembled. This army rejoins him. This army is going to probably go pressure the Netherlands or someone over here. We have ten artillery in each army, so a level 1 fort requires half the artillery, so we'll split it two, go for both. We'll find another army that is no longer busy, like, say, this one. Look up here, level 1, level 1. Split in half, go here and go here. The Dongo has fallen in Africa. So this war with France started in... December 1st, 1602. It hasn't been a year. We're about one month shy. Uh, about five weeks away, it'll have been one year. 
And we've already completely occupied the entirety of his country, and we're about to knock down Paris. We did get a disease outbreak. Um, in the interest of just completely massacring him, I might do a wall barrage. Yeah, we're fine. Just burn down the damn walls. Reconverge the fourth stack into its primary, like, standard composition. Also, one of the stacks is improper. That's why I'm using this one as the, like, split into fourths army. Because it doesn't have a leader and it's shaped weird, you know? Should be a 16 or whatever, and instead it's, it's a little bit less than that. Okay, come on, take Paris, please. Center's dessert, no such luck. We need to end the war with France first, so that we have no risk of the Pope getting uh, involved with it. I think at this point it's too late for France to call him in defensively, but you never know. I'd rather just be safe about it. Monster's fallen. Let's get another army up there. We lost military access, so this army that was working its way over to these two is no longer capable of going there. But then we regained access, so now it can be redirected. Let's have this primary army go work on Den Haag. This army is going to go occupy that in quarters. This is occupied by Austria, and that is a separate war. We want to start knocking out the secondary participants from here if we can. We're going to ignore the French army because we don't care. I do think we'll force religion on this guy because he's going to become our vassal. That did get us black flag. That was a mistake. Gotta go here and then back to here. Um, want this unit to stay together. Okay, plenty of war score with France, but I just need to make sure that this ends. Okay, we can knock you out. You're part of these two are a unit, so. One army is probably going to get black flagged, but it can get unblack flagged once it goes there. Or, actually, the leader's here, so let's just march him forward so we don't get unblack flagged. And he can assist in the siege as well. Don't want any of that land. How's our formation doing in this game? Um, I don't remember my shortcut for that. There it is. We've got Anglican Isles, Catholic, still holding a little bit in Sweden. Very, very much Protestant, and then there's also a fair bit of Reformed. And of course there's us, and half of France, who are still Catholic. Den Haag has fallen, but I think that went to... Utrecht, but that doesn't matter, that should be enough to knock him out of the war. So we're just gonna white peace with Netherlands for now. That allows us to peace out with France. Ideally he'd be on low enthusiasm, but it doesn't matter, because we already have 99. So, things we're going to demand. Um, it's a reconquest of Delphin. We're going to transfer this to Provence. Transfer Maine to Provence. We're going to demand the returned cores. We're going to take back all of this. Milan controls that right now. That's got to go to us. I'm going to pay some diplo points, but um, we have full influence now. I want to finish this because there's a mission that we're being blocked right now with. We need all of those. Just those three, actually. Administrative efficiency from tech? Uh, it does give 10%. Mm. I mean, we're ahead of time on tech, we've got plenty of admin. Yeah, sure. Doesn't give any innovativeness, but it's alright. Establish Sunday schools, I'm sure. Okay, uh, we're also going to concede Columbia. We're also going to demand all of his money because we want to make him go bankrupt, and we're going to make him pay war reps, because war reps plus loans is worse than just direct monies. So in this case, he's not willing to accept 100%. I'm going to force him down to low enthusiasm, so we'll accept exactly 100%. Like one of our armies... That stack belongs together. This stack can't do anything. doesn't need to be there anymore anyway. Looks like it's time to retreat the army. Okay, so we've been at war for one year plus five months. 17 month uh, fight with this guy. Next month on the monthly tick, he should be on low enthusiasm, be my guess.
Did I even fight the French troops in this war? Nope. Okay, done. That's part of Colombia. It's going to go to our subject. He's now hostile to me because we have his stuff. We've subjugated Navarra. In a free castle in Navarra. Fort local defensiveness. We get uh, permanent claims on Italy. We've recovered Portugal, so we gain admin points and prestige. We don't need the prestige. We placate somebody. Let's placate Provence, I guess. And then we'll do the click. Bum, bum, bum. Delete Fort in Huesca. Uh, if we need the forts for morale of armies, sorry, for army tradition, we still need more forts. I'm going to keep them for now. Econom it's not like the economy is suffering. We're making even more money than we need to. 198.87 out of 421.15. We're making 47% net income relative to gross, which is too much. I like to make 30 to 40%, not 50. Oh, we're one point shy. Damn. We have 0 0.06 war exhaustion from that war. Pretty good. So Tuscany war was basically just to allow us to fight France without having anyone else involved. Next up, we want to try to knock out our secondary participants that were missing. Looks like that was... What was that? Ulm? Unseaged? Transports are still up there. I'm going to auto-transport this fleet, or that army there, because it might actually get there quicker. Now that we're off of Ulm, we can peace out. Or whatever, I don't care. Go away. Martian, Mantua, Munster, and then Tuscany. We should probably get an army on that directly. Hmm. First level 5 fort I've seen in a while. I'll actually send two armies down. Burgers lose influence and 20 loyalty. Can't afford to let them gain influence. Don't like that we're losing loyalty, but... Um, Papal sanction for increased taxes is gone. Let's get that back. Better watch out, Tuscany. We're coming for you. Okay, that army did arrive slower. Actually, let's... That's a little tricky to do. The army was locked in its movement, but if you send the navy elsewhere, then it resets the army. Looks like we have no military access through most of these places. If Martian has fallen, I don't care if we become black flagged now that that army's free. So let's get this army, this piece still done. This army can retreat back to Asturias. This army's got three siege pips, so that'll help out finishing there. Missionary strength gone wild. Papal opinion of France is at 85. Oh, he actually insulted, upset the Pope. Interesting. Now that they're no longer allies, actually they are, they are still allies. I didn't I didn't do it in a way that forced them to lose the alliance. Integrate Provence. Yeah, we could start that. Uh, I'll need to start... I need to, uh... Scoot a gym. Also, we, we still have a free relationship because we were going to use... Uh, East Frisia. Can't do an alliance with them right now because we're at war. Let's, uh, top off relations with them for now. We need to pull an extra five artillery. In order to get the full bonus against a level... Of, uh, level 5 fort. They're rare. AI very, very rarely builds these. We should have a better siege leader available. Guy that's black flagged. Get him unassigned. Pull him down to here. Which is at 4 plus 5. Uh, you know, we're still ahead of time in Miltech by a lot with 700 points. I'm going to barrage that. Make it fall. 
Damn. What's left? We've got Mantua at low because he's occupied. Let's come back from East Frisia for a sec so that we can knock him out. Just taking money from these guys. We want short truces. So we can go to war with them again. Tuscany is the last one, and then of course we've got this war down here that I'm completely negating, uh, completely ignoring. Total war score cost for this guy is 40%. We should probably occupy the rest of his country. Ladadia, you are not busy. Yes, you are. You're our, our siege god. Never mind. Sejdan, you are not busy. You can go down here. Ideally, we want to full annex the target of the thing. Target of the Holy War, so that we can then declare a new one. Unrest in Italy? Eh, whatever. They can have autonomy. I don't care. The age is ending. We're moving into the age of absolutism in 62 months anyway. But embrace institution. It's stupid expensive. I don't really care. Just pay for it anyway. And let's actually check and see if we can sell it to anybody now. 84 countries would buy our knowledge. Go to the thing here, check to see who makes the most money in the world. Ottomans, followed by Ming, followed by Great Britain. Uh, looks like Venice, Mamluks. Are either of them willing to accept knowledge? Venice is not, Mamluks is not. Okay, uh, Vijayanagar. Is not. You know what would be great is if, like, on this screen, you could see relevant information, like, what the hell is their income, you know? Like, how much would you get? Isn't that, like, kind of important, relevant information, you know? Alright, how about Lubeck? Come on, Lubeck. Come on, Lubeck. There's no institution that they learned. Damn it. Japan. Do you want knowledge? Outside of Colonial. God damn it. All right, Thaya's good. All right, fine. Just someone take the damn knowledge. I don't care. Global trade is one of those institutions that spawns and spreads everywhere anyway, so giving it away is not a big deal. So these two stacks head to Astorius. So we can start drilling. We have 99% with you. Need a diplomat. So we can peace out Tuscany. Uh, this was a Milan claim war, so we'll transfer this to Milan. Demand it. Peace out. Revoke core. Peace done. Okay. Um, this army's improperly composed now. Russia is no longer a valid rival. Russia is now friendly. I think we've gained an 11th merchant. This is not really super necessary. I think we want one here just to increase the outgoing value now. Okay, it's voice integrated. It's fine. It's possible that stack's too big for our army to want to engage. It's avoiding strong enemy. I'll just manually combine these two into a single unit so we can go fight that. I have to do it manually. Blech. Need Luba to agree to a white peace. We're working on his capital. We have Crusade CB because I declared holy war on this guy because I'm Curie Controller. That's his capital. That should not come out. Gives money is good. Go away. Okay, all these armies could go to Luanda. Now we full annex you, which clears the Crusade target, allowing us to then do a new Crusade. Okay, 
National decision available. Formalized separation of powers. Sounds good. Why not? Age ends in 55 months. You want access? Sure. We have no truce with Cuba. Cuba brings in uh, people. So if we want Crusade again, we can call for a Crusade against this guy. Or we could look at like Benin or Fulo. Or we could Crusade these people and use physical adjacency with uh, colonists. It's another option. But we're at peace. So we can maybe do a charter company again. 